Welcome back to the channel guys, just want to bring you a video about one that's been pointed out to me on more than one occasion by a few of you guys in the comments, alright, and that is DIA, the Digital Information Asset. And why I found it fit to do a video on this right now, uh, there's a few reasons, alright. So what is it, obviously it's a trusted big data company, okay, and um, one thing that I like about a big data is I never knew about uh, much about it. Um, only until like, you know, a few months ago, um, or maybe earlier on in the year, a uh, big data is actually a very massive uh, thing when it comes to, you know, data, you know, information, and um, it makes big bucks, you know, mega bucks, you know, um, if you're a big tech company or whatever, you know, you do spend, they do spend millions or, or and, you know, hundreds of millions on, on big data. Information is a very valuable commodity, probably one of the most valuable um, outside of oil and um, and uh, your time all right guys so yeah digital information asset um, I'm on the website here there's a few videos on here that you can watch and um, to find out what it is all right but one of the things that caught my attention is the fact that they are uh, being advised by Patrick Storchenegger all right now Patrick Storchenegger He's, um was a legal advisor to the Ethereum Foundation, all right? So he was a co-founder and legal advisor in the Ethereum Foundation, okay? You can actually look it up here if you go on the um, the Ethereum Foundation's uh, background check. You can actually find him as one of the key people alongside Vitaly Buterin, Gavin Wood, who's also the, the, the founder of Polka.now. Um, you got Joseph Lubin and co-founder. Patrick Storchenegger as legal advisor. Okay, so you can see his name just down there. All right, so that for me is bullish to being advised by uh, the likes of, of um, Patrick Storchenegger. Also, um, they're supported by uh, financial experts such as Bloomberg, Airbnb, um, Ethereum, of course, and Google, and a few others. All right, um, yeah. So, so that's that's definitely. Uh, you know something to take notice of all right uh, another reason why I'm bullish on this right now is that I just saw an announcement come out and it was tweeted by uh, well it was retweeted by Qcoin and it was tweeted originally by uh, DIA and that is that they will be listed on Qcoin starting from tomorrow on August the 18th okay so um, that's gonna bring a lot of volume into this and with that news as well as the setup that you can see, um, where are we? Right, the setup I can see, right, so this is the Uniswap chart, right, because it's not quite on Qcoin yet, but I expect this to get a breakout of this level, this falling wedge, all right, I get a breakout of there and potentially see some upside. Um, we're looking at, if we take, if we do a measured move, right, we're looking at roughly about 100%, okay, if we do a measured move from the breakout, if we do get it, right, we're looking at, roughly about 90 to 100 percent okay so that's another reason why i'm bullish on that we have got a bullish MACD cross on a four hour and we do see the rsi going to the upside obviously it has been on a bit of a tear already where we saw uh, a move of about 300 percent roughly 284 percent okay and obviously it's been correcting um consolidating ready for the next move upwards and obviously this is a bullish pattern 60% uh, uh, chance that it breaks to the upside in a uh, falling wedge so that's another reason I'm bullish on DIA okay so what do you think about DIA guys you know I don't want to get into all of the technicals I don't know much about it at the moment but I know enough to know that it does look quite bullish right now being an information asset company big data it's DeFi, all right, let's not forget about that. It is DeFi, and it's going to be available on Qcoin by tomorrow, okay? So I can potentially buy it now on Uniswap, which is what I'm going to do. Just waiting for some funds to transfer into Uniswap so that I can put my order in on that, and then I'll probably be looking at um, withdrawing it to uh, Qcoin uh, tomorrow, all right? 
uh, when it goes on there. Hopefully we would have seen some, some nice gains by then. And who knows, maybe it can continue to the upside and open with a bullish engulfing candle on KuCoin tomorrow. But don't quote me on that, we'll have to wait and see what happens. I am going to risk some money in it. But I'm also going to show you how to buy it if you wanted to buy it today before it gets onto KuCoin. I'm going to show you how to do that now, all right? Uh, for those, so for those of you that don't know, you want to stick around for this. All right, so let's just remove it uh, to start with. Uh, let's just remove it, DIA. Okay, it's not allowing me to remove it at the moment. Okay, I can't remove it. All right, but I'll just show you how to buy it anyway, okay? So what you would be looking at doing is you would go into Google. All right, so let's just open a new page. All right, and we would just basically type in DIA smart contract address, all right? And we find that on Everscan, now it's DIA token. You want to make sure that it's not something else, all right? So you can see it is the DIA token, all right? When you click on there, you can see that the total supply is 200,000, right? Uh, sorry, 200 uh, million, sorry. If we go to coin market cap, we just make sure that that to total supply matches up. I know that it does, but just for the sake of education, I'm showing you now, guys. All right, if you saw something that had a different market on um, Everscan scam tokens, they're not the actual token that you're looking for. So you can see the total supply matches up. All right, 200 million total supply. Okay. Um, so yeah, uh, what we would then do is we would look at the official site. Okay. DIAData.org. Now, does that bring you to DIA? Of course it does. All right. So we know that it's the correct token. All right. Then we have the smart contract address over here. So you basically just copy that. Okay. Just like you would do your 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 Bitcoin address or anything like that. All right. You'll then go over to here. All right. And then if you paste in the name in the search bar, you'll see it come up. All right. And then you get a pink add button. You can just add that, and then that will be added to your Uniswap account, all right, and then you can trade that. Uh, you can you can then buy that, trade your ETH for it, or whatever. Oh, it looks like my ETH has come through. All right, so while you're on, the, while you're there, guys, I'm just going to go ahead and buy. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and buy some DIA. Let's just make sure the prices are. Where am I? Coin market cap. Where's coin market cap? Right. Okay, so it's currently two dollars and eighty-seven cents. All right, so I'm getting zoom swap, right. I'm getting six hundred and ninety-five DIA tokens for my Ethereum. Now, you obviously have to take into account gas fees. All right, so I'm just going to leave some gas there, and we just narrow that down to four. In fact, let's just try and pick up at least six hundred tokens. All right. 603, 6402. Okay, we'll just buy uh, 600 tokens. I'm just going to press swap. All right, and I want to confirm the swap. I've got I've got my slippage um, my slippage tolerance is at five percent for the sake of a fast transaction. All right, guys, and then I'm just going to buy that. And it's as simple as that. Now I do prefer to use other. Um, I do prefer to use the, the exchanges rather than Uniswap personally. Alright, well, you can see that's pending up there. But yeah, I like to be able to, you know, put my order in and, you know, rather than just swap, alright. But um, as you can see, that's gone through fast. And the reason that's gone through so quickly is because of my high slippage tolerance at 5%, alright. Now, I don't recommend that, you know, it's not always the recommendation because, uh, you know, some people use 2% or whatever, but I personally opt it, decided to up it considering that I was facing problems with, um, you know, the price is changing while I'm trying to get into the asset, all right? And uh, yeah, I don't, I don't want to have to deal with all that palaver, you know, if I'm going to lose 20 quid or whatever, or pay a higher gas fee or whatever, then I don't mind doing that, all right, guys? But like I say, it's not something I'm using all of the time anymore, um, um, okay? And another thing I'll have to show you as well, actually, one thing is good for you to do straight away, right, is to set up your... Um, where are we? Right, let's change this to ETH or WEF or something else, whatever, right? 
and then we're going to get DIA. Okay, so when it comes to swapping, right, if you don't do this beforehand and approve it for a swap, right, if you're trying to get out of it quickly, you may find yourself waiting a little bit of time, okay, uh, because you have to first approve it before you can then go and put your order into swap, okay. So I'm just going to approve it now, right. And that's out the way. So even if I come like five days later, 10 days later, a month later, right? When I'm ready to swap, I can just open it and press swap. Okay. And then that will get sorted. All right. So we're just going to approve it. All right. There's a gas fee for that. $2.37. All right. So we just approve it. Let's get that approved as soon as possible. So if I decide to get out, I can get out as soon as possible. Okay. So yeah, you want to go ahead and get that out of the way. It is pending and uh, you know hopefully it'll do quickly enough for me to show you guys on, on the video all right pending pending okay another thing you can do as well is while it's pending you can go and you can go on to uh you can go on the, oh okay it's done you can go on the swap and you can speed up you know, speed up the transaction all right so now, if I wanted to swap all of my tokens, I could just go ahead and just swap them straight away. It's been approved. All right, so whenever I'm ready to get out, I can do that with ease very quickly. All right, that goes into my MetaMask wallet, and now my tokens should be available in my MetaMask wallet. Let's just check. As you can see, I've got some Ethereum on the side for gas. Right, I've got some DIA tokens. I'm probably going to go ahead and top those up because I don't need that much for gas fees, to be honest. I like to leave about between $20 and $40, all right? So I'm going to go in and just fill the rest of that order. All right, guys. But um, also, um, what you would have to do is if you haven't done it already you know, and you, you don't see it here, you basically just go to add token. You, you type, you, you copy the smart contract address into there, okay? And, it's, and it will come up there. But obviously, for me, it's already been added. All right, guys. Now, even when you're on here, if you want to know how much it is per token, what you can do is you can just put USDT, all right, and you can check that regularly. You could just press one. You see, it's gone up to three dollars. All right, guys. So yeah, Uniswap is not as simple as it is for some of us. You know, if you're just getting into it, it's going to take you a while to kind of figure everything out. But for the sake of education, I've showed you that, guys. So yeah, digital information asset DIA token. Let me know what you think in the comments. Uh, do you think that this could go up uh, when it does get listed on uh, Qcoin? All right, I've actually bought it before the breakout. It's safer to wait for the breakout because this could get rejected and come back down before coming back up, and you could potentially pick up a better entry. Considering we've got the uh, the MACD cross and the RSI curling up to the upside, I'm assuming that we're going to get a breakout. And with the news on Qcoin, when a lot of people pick up on that, because it was only a few hours ago. When more people pick up on that, I do believe that we could get a bit of a push and definitely get a breakout at this level. There's my target up there for the short term, all right? But knowing these Uniswap coins, they can actually smash targets out of the ground and we could just see a massive rally um, up before a swift sell-off back to the downside, all right, guys? So, yeah, if you haven't subscribed already, do me a favor and subscribe to the channel, like, comment, and I'll see you again in the next one.